Welcome to Singularity Vault, your portal to the wonders of science and engineering. Today, we're delving into the skies over Ukraine, exploring the capabilities of two iconic fighter jets, the F-16 and the JAS-39 Gripen. Join us as we embark on a journey through the realms of military technology, analyzing these aerial titans in the context of ongoing geopolitical dynamics. And remember, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button Share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to Singularity Vault for more captivating content on science, engineering and beyond. Let's unlock the secrets of these cutting-edge aircraft and see how they shape the future of warfare. Let's start with the F-16 Fighting Falcon. A product of the Cold War era, this multi-role fighter jet was first introduced by the United States in the late 70s. The Falcon has since served in the air forces of 25 nations around the globe boasting an impressive record in various conflicts. It's a testament to the F-16's design and versatility that it remains in service to this day, over four decades since its maiden flight. The F-16's design is centered around a single powerful engine that allows it to reach speeds upwards of two times the speed of sound. It's compact yet robust, with a range of over 2,000 miles. But what really sets the F-16 apart is its versatility. It's not just a fighter, but a multi-role aircraft capable of performing air-to-air, air-to-ground, and even electronic warfare missions. When it comes to armament, the F-16 is no slouch. Its typical loadout can include a mix of air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-9 Sidewinder and AIM-120 AMRAAM, air-to-ground weapons such as the AGM-65 Maverick and a M-61 Vulcan Cannon for close-in combat. This broad range of weapons allows the F-16 to engage a variety of targets, from enemy aircraft to ground installations, making it a true multi-role fighter. And let's not forget the recent promise of 24 F-16S from the Netherlands to Ukraine, a move that could significantly bolster Ukraine's air defense capabilities. The F-16's combat-proven record and multi-role capabilities make it an asset in any air force. The F-16's versatility makes it a formidable aircraft in any conflict. Whether it's in air superiority missions, ground attacks, or reconnaissance, the F-16 Fighting Falcon is more than capable of holding its own. But how does it stack up against other fighters in the skies above Ukraine? We'll explore that in the next segment. Stay with us. But how would the F-16 fare in the Ukrainian conflict? Let's dive into the tactical analysis of this iconic aircraft. The F-16 is a multi-role fighter jet, meaning it's designed to perform well in a variety of missions. In the context of the Ukrainian conflict, the F-16 could potentially be used in three main roles, air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance. For air superiority missions, the F-16 boasts a top speed of over two times the speed of sound and an impressive range, making it a formidable opponent in aerial combat. Its high maneuverability and advanced radar systems also give it an edge when it comes to detecting and engaging enemy aircraft. Next, we have ground attack operations. The F-16's diverse loadouts, including a mix of air-to-ground missiles and laser-guided bombs, make it a fearsome tool for neutralizing ground-based threats. Its precision strike capabilities would be crucial in hitting enemy targets while minimizing collateral damage. Lastly, the F-16's advanced sensor suite and electronic warfare capabilities make it a suitable platform for reconnaissance missions. It can gather valuable intelligence on enemy movements and positions, contributing to the overall situational awareness of friendly forces. But it's not all smooth sailing. The F-16 might have to face off against a variety of Russian fighter jets in Ukrainian airspace. These could include the Su-27 Flanker, the MiG-29 Fulcrum, and possibly even the latest Su-57 Felon. Each of these Russian fighters brings its own set of challenges, and the F-16's success would depend on factors such as pilot skill, tactical planning, and the element of surprise. Yet with its proven combat record and versatile capabilities, the F-16 is no pushover. It's a seasoned warrior that has seen action in numerous conflicts around the globe. In the Ukrainian theater, the F-16 could play a pivotal role, leveraging its strengths to maintain air superiority, neutralize ground threats, and gather critical intelligence. The F-16's capabilities position it as a major force in the skies over Ukraine. The potential impact of this aircraft on the battlefield is undeniable, 
and its presence could significantly tip the scales in favor of the side it supports. As the situation unfolds, the F-16's performance will undoubtedly be a key factor to watch. Now, let's turn our attention to the JAS-39 Grepen, a Swedish marvel of aeronautical engineering. This agile beast was born out of Sweden's unique defense needs during the Cold War, a time when the nation needed a fighter that could operate from short and potentially damaged runways, yet still pack a punch against any intruder. It was developed specifically to fight in a defensive war against Russia over the European skies. The Gripen, or Griffin in English, was first flown in December of 1988. It was designed by Saab, a company known for its innovative approach to technology and design, both in the automotive and aerospace sectors. The Gripen is a single-engine, multi-role fighter that has seen continuous upgrades since its inception, keeping it at the forefront of aerial combat capabilities. The Gripen's engine, the Volvo RM12, is a derivative of the General Electric F404, a testament to international collaboration in defense technology. This engine enables the Gripen to reach a maximum speed of Mach 2 or approximately 1,400 miles per hour. That's New York to Miami in under an hour, if you could keep up the pace. But speed isn't everything. The Gripen boasts an impressive range of over 800 miles on internal fuel alone. With aerial refueling or additional fuel tanks, this distance can be significantly extended, allowing the Gripen to stay in the fight or on patrol for extended periods. When it comes to armament, the Gripen can carry an array of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weapons. It can be equipped with the latest European Meteor missiles for long-range air-to-air engagements or the American AIM-120 AMRAM for versatility. For ground attack missions, the Gripen can be equipped with laser-guided bombs, anti-ship missiles, and even standoff weapons like the Taurus KEPD-350 cruise missile. The Gripen's adaptability is its key strength, making it a worthy adversary. Its ability to operate from a variety of platforms, coupled with its impressive range and loadout options, makes it a formidable contender in any aerial combat scenario. In the skies over Ukraine, this Swedish wonder could certainly hold its own. Sweden have have not yet promised any Gripens to be sent to Ukraine, but have trained Ukrainian pilots to fly it, and has opened up for the possibility to transfer a number of Gripens after Sweden's NATO ascension. But how does the Gripen stack up in the context of the Ukrainian conflict? Riding the winds of Northern Europe, the Gripen has been built with a unique set of capabilities designed to meet the challenges of a complex geopolitical landscape. Its versatility and adaptability make it a formidable contender in any aerial combat scenario. One potential role for the Gripen in the Ukrainian airspace could be as an air superiority fighter. With its advanced radar and missile systems, the Gripen is well equipped to engage and neutralize enemy aircraft. This Swedish bird of prey has an impressive turn rate and acceleration, making it a nimble adversary in dogfights. But the Gripen is not just a one-trick pony. It is also capable of performing ground attack missions, with a wide range of air-to-ground weapons at its disposal. This could be particularly useful in the Ukrainian context, where ground targets may be a priority. Furthermore, the Gripen's superior electronic warfare capabilities could make it an effective tool for reconnaissance and electronic attack missions. Its ability to gather and process information quickly gives it a significant edge in the digital warfare landscape. But what about the opposition? The Russian fighters that the Gripen may encounter in Ukrainian airspace are no pushovers. The Gripen would likely face off against aircraft like the Su-35 and the MiG-29, both formidable adversaries. Against the Su-35, the Gripen's superior avionics and electronic warfare systems could give it an edge. However, the Su-35's raw power and agility would present a serious challenge. Against the MiG-29, the Gripen's advanced radar and weapon systems could prove decisive, but the MiG-29's high speed and altitude capabilities would not be underestimated. It's a complex chess game, with each piece bringing its own strengths and weaknesses to the board. But one thing's for sure, the Gripen's unique features make it a formidable force in the skies over Ukraine. So, who would perform best in the skies over Ukraine? The F-16 or the Gripen? We've explored the prowess of both these aerial titans, their unique strengths, and their potential roles in the unforgiving skies over Ukraine. The F-16's versatility and proven track record in various mission profiles make it a formidable opponent. 
It's a jet that has been tried and tested in countless conflicts around the globe and continues to be a pivotal player in modern air combat. On the other hand, we have the JAS-39 Gripen, a fighter that boasts cutting-edge technology and remarkable adaptability. It's a machine designed with a specific focus on countering Russian air capabilities and seamlessly integrating with NATO forces. The Gripen is a newer entrant to the theater of war, but it certainly packs a punch. But the question remains, in the face of adversity, which fighter jet would reign supreme? Would it be the battle-hardened F-16 or the tech-savvy Gripen? The answer is not as clear-cut as it may seem. It would depend on numerous factors, including the specific mission objectives, the tactics employed, and the pilots at the controls. So, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Which aircraft do you think would dominate the skies over Ukraine? Thanks for joining us on this fascinating exploration of military aviation. If you found this video insightful, be sure to show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing to Singularity Vault. Your engagement fuels our mission to bring you more thought-provoking content on science, engineering, and beyond. Remember, the more likes, comments, and subscriptions we receive, the more people will discover this video and the fascinating topics we cover on Singularity Vault. Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for our next captivating journey into the realms of knowledge. Until then, keep exploring and pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity.